Hello and welcome back to the three link pan hard tutorial. In the last one I showed you how to make the links you will need, I mean not the links, the joints you will need. So that one, that one, and the hub. <clears throat> this one we will put in as we're building. In this part I'm showing how to make the axle and then put on the joints and the links. So. The default width for my vehicles, using that um, wheel size, is nine block. Is a nine block track width. No, those are two, so that would be a eleven block track width. So the axle is nine block. My nah, words hard. Yeah, nine blocks wide. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So that's nine. Yes, okay. Take off that. It's the front axle, so we want it to be 7, not 9. Now, we will load our hubs. Put this back on the left. And weld these on. At this point, it doesn't matter which way they're pointing. But, remember... If they are pointing this way, and your tie rod is out the front, or out this way, this is the front. With this design, well, unless you, I'm not going to get into any details, any more complicated stuff. This has to be the front, with this specific design. So, there's your tie rod. This ties the two hubs together. Now, we will take, oh I forgot a pipe, um, what's called, pipe angle. Pipe angle, this one. So nice having that search. Cool. Okay, so, normally, as I was saying before, I would put the spring here, but I wanted the longer panhard bar, so I moved it back. So, we will put two bearings with two elbows, two more bearings, this is just the curved pipe piece, uh, this one, small pipe bend. I call it elbow for some reason, I don't know. Anyways, do that, and then put your plates on again towards the inside, like so. Put a bearing on the plate, then put on your five long angled pipe. I'm just going to scroll for this one. Okay, so take the five by two and attach it so it is angled up. Like so. If you're looking at the front of the vehicle, it should look like this. Oops. Like that one. Now, next, we will bring. Ah. No, not down there. Go from the hub up, and then over, like so. It's easier on the hub because the bearing separates it from all of this, and you can just build and attach stuff easier. So you've got that, you put your two elbow pieces there, remove the five long angled. We put that on to find where these go. Now we're building these, we need the five out of the way. So, we've got these on. This one will be the drag link, this one will be the panhard bar. And once again, you just put your plates on, like so, the lift, put it back on the lift, like 
so make sure these are not welded together. They are not. Can remove this now. Now we take that like this. Use a T here with another bearing. I use two bearings on this <clears throat> to make it stronger. Oops. Oops. Like that. And weld it. So if we take it off, it's okay that it came off to the side, or the front. What matters is they are linked together. <clears throat> the pan hard bar, what it does is keeps the uh, axle from moving side to side. I'm actually going to try something. Uh, no, not right now, I'm not. I was going to try and draw on the screen, but I don't have the uh, right scene set up. Anyways, if you're looking at the vehicle, pan hard bar stops the axle from moving to side to side. However, where I'm from, you must have a physical link between the steering wheel and your steering wheels. If that makes any sense. You need a physical link from your wheel to here. So, if you were to just have like a triangulated four link or leaf springs or something, your axle goes up and down. As it goes up, this bar is going to push your wheels to the right. As it goes down, it'll pull to the left. I will explain it better once we have it built. For now, uh, pinch near my neck. Ouch. Anyways, for now, I will now put on these links. You will need to spawn. Oops. I keep doing that now for some reason. You will need this thing. The T with the uh, three mounting points. Now, I like the outside one to be for my spring. So I'm going to take this side. I forgot to put that back on the lift. I'm going to take this side. And weld it like that. This side and weld it. And then we take elbow, bearing, another bearing, connect that together, and then take however long of pipe you want. It must be an angled one like this. Well, it doesn't have to be, it's just, it works better if, oops, it works better if it's like this. So, go up. This is where you can determine your wheelbase. Wheelbase is the, diff the distance between the middle of the wheel to the middle of the wheel. The longer this arm, the more articulation you can get. Because as the wheel goes down from the chassis, the arm will swing and pull it back. So the longer the wheel, I mean, longer the arm, or lower link, upper link too, the, lo the longer the links, the uh, further it can move up and down without going forward to back. I'm just going to go with three long, because it's simpler and it is what I have been able to make work. So, now you will want to go and get this link. Or this joint, sorry. You will need a couple. So it's just spawn a bunch. You can delete the ones you don't need later. We will take this. And then it goes in and down. So that side. I like to keep these lined up right. And this, it's just my symmetry OCD. 
still. And like that. And then the one in the middle. This one lined up with the other one. That looks like it. Uh, it did. Okay, good. So, that is the axle and the links and the joints and whatnot. The next part, we will put on the uh, the chassis. We'll start putting on the chassis. And maybe this is the springs. I don't know if I want to do the springs when I do the rear end or... No. The next one we'll do the springs and the chassis from here to here. And then we will do the rear end. So. Stay tuned for that part, it is next.